on the Lakers. As we know, that's not going to happen. It is possible that he could have two of his boys, Lamelo and Lonzo, on the Pelicans. Lamelo being a prospect in the draft, the Pelicans having a lottery pick, uh, depending on how the season goes. So two out of three is impressive, but uh, let's just see it. Time is definitely running out for Jello if it is not already empty. Jello made it to the G League, which is still good to have three kids very in like very high levels of basketball. But that is not what he said. He said on the Lakers, and that is definitely not going to happen. Banners are coming on the fact that I got two more sons, and when they all here, help is on the way. Don't worry about it. They're all going to play for the. They're all going to play for the Lakers. <laughs> Welcome to the new big three, the ball era. Here's one that's a little bit different. He said, no back-to-back -back losses for the Lakers. He said this after when they were 1-2, and two, having confidence. They went into their game against the Wizards on October 25th of Lonzo's rookie year, and they won, improving to 2-2. Two and two. Well, this was accurate at the time. The Lakers did have several back-to-back -back losses later on the season, so it held true for the present, but it did not go on in the future. Let's look at another one. He said the Lakers were going to win 50 games to make the playoffs. That obviously did not happen. He also said the Lakers weren't going to trade. Lonzo. So that's really it for some of his failures. Let's take a look at his accurate predictions. He is right about speaking it into existence on several things. He spoke it into existence that Lonzo was going to be a Laker. Lonzo, a man out of UCLA, grew up in the area, California, and born and raised. Makes sense for that he was going to be a Laker. Many people thought, in hindsight, seeing that Deer and Fox might have been the better pick for the Lakers, and it might have ended up him staying on the team and not getting traded. But LeVar did call it. LeVar said Lonzo was going to be a Laker. What if your boy is not a Laker? Say it again. What if your boy is not a Laker? Let's slow it down. What if he's not a Laker? So you could no, he's going to be a Laker. But what if he's not? But he is. Let's look at another one. LeVar also called LeBron to the Lakers. At the time, this was not something that people thought was going to happen. It was not something that people would see at the time Le LeVon was in Cleveland, but as we know, this ended up happening. And although LeBron did end up being the downfall for Lonzo in LA, ended up shipping him off for Anthony Davis, but LeVar did call it and he did speak it into existence hey, that hey. LeBron would join his son on the Lakers. LeVar also said that Lonzo was going to be the rookie of the year, which did not happen a lot. Lonzo's numbers were okay for a rookie year. They were standard, but for a number two pick, they were kind of underperforming. Compared to other rookie of the years in the past, players like Malcolm Brogdon and Michael Carter-Williams have had stats that aren't as good as Lonzo's, but Lonzo was a number two pick and was definitely very hyped. He ended up losing to Ben Simmons, who was technically not a rookie at the time, but he Lonzo wasn't even in the conversation. It was between Ben Simmons and Donovan Mitchell. 17 NBA Rookie of the Year betting odds. Oh, they have Ben Simmons as number one. I bet all my money on Lonzo Ball. But the fact that I don't gamble, I'm not betting on nobody, because I already know Lonzo Ball, Rookie of the Year. And LeVar also called Jello not being able to be a thief. This is one of the more impressive things that I think is on out of all of LeVar's predictions. To call his kid say he would be a bad burglar. He did this on one of the Ball in the Family episodes when Lavar or when Leangelo was moving to UCLA. Lavar said he wouldn't be able to steal well, anything. At the time, Jello was trying to move his stuff in, and he was just making lots of noise, and they were struggling. It was a funny moment at the time, lots of lighthearted. No one really thought this would have any effect. But as we know, Leangelo got caught stealing in China, and therefore ruined his UCLA season, and pretty much started the downfall of him never being a prospect, although he was kind of behind, but behind Lonzo and Lamelo in the rankings prior to this. And one more thing we have is LeVar calling the Raptors to win the final. LeVar, LeVar was on the Maybe I'm Crazy podcast with Joy Taylor and Brandon Newman. He's been on this podcast before, and in this podcast they talk about the finals because that was what was going on at the time. The Raptors were up 2-1 at this point, but LeVar went ahead and sealed the deal saying the Raptors would win the title. But uh, before we let you go, really quickly, uh, we are in the finals now. Um, I really like Toronto. I, I like Toronto all year, um, but Golden State's got a lot of injuries. Kawhi's playing out of his mind. What do you think happens for the rest of the series? I already told him for Toronto. Me too. I already told him Toronto's 